If you're looking to be a Nintendo nerd in public, then you might want to consider buying this really cool Nintendo 64 themed hat. Hey Nintendo fans and collectors, Lithium here from my channel Nintendo Collecting. Now I recently picked up a bunch of different gaming merchandise, inc including hats, including a five different t-shirts actually that I want to go through, a really cool Splatoon shirt as well. But first of all, I just want to talk about this hat from GamerHats.com. This is made by Throwback Gamer on Instagram. I'll have a link in the description below the video. This is charcoal gray. It looks absolutely perfect. Like, I think this is such a simplistically well done design that I really am a fan of this. So here you do have the color that the original N64 console was modeled after. I do have the system here as well just to kind of compare these two. Maybe we'll keep the Super Nintendo one to the side. So this hat here is a limited edition. It's not going to last forever. Once he sells all of them, I think they're done making those. So obviously the color is the same as the console and the really neat part about this simplistic design is you have the four controller ports essentially on the hat as well. The original N64, it had for player one, just one dot, two dots and so forth up to four. And on the hat, you do see that really cool design as well. One, two, three and four right there for the different controller ports. Now this is a flat style of that cap. There might eventually maybe be a curved style, but right now it's a flat style. And that's been really common recently. Underneath the hat, or underneath the cap, you can see this really cool green outline of all the N64 controller logos, which I really like. Green's my favorite color, so a little bit of green on this as well. And then inside the hat, you can see it says GamerHats.com going across this as well. I think these are normally 40 US dollars, free worldwide shipping, he says. He did send me the hat for me to promote, and I absolutely am a fan of it, and I'm going to wear this out in public and everything like that, which makes me even more of a Nintendo nerd. I don't always wear Nintendo products out in public, but now I'm definitely going to wear that hat. So that's a really neat, unique item, I think. In the past, he did develop other hats, so there has been a Super Nintendo. This is a Super Famicom style hat that I have. I don't think these are available anymore. He might bring them back in production at some point. There was also a beanie that matched it, and of course, that's more like the Super Famicom colors. So that was really cool and wonderful. If you want to check him out on Instagram, there'll be a link in the description below, but also online on the website on Throw... Yeah, let me just check and make sure that I'm getting that correctly on GamerHats.com. Yeah, link in the description below the video. Okay, let's just keep this hat and the other hat maybe to the side. And I just want to talk about other gaming-related paraphernalia that I got recently. Now, a while ago, when Splatoon 1 came out, I got a Splatoon shirt, and I was able to pick up a second one, so I did so. So now I can actually wear this this summer. Splatoon 2 is coming out really soon. So they probably had this one in the back, and they just hadn't sold it for a while, and they brought it back out because it does say right up here, it says Wii U on this. So this is Splatoon 1, this is not for Splatoon 2, and I don't know why they had extras of this, but I was fortunate enough to get this. So this cost me like $15 or something like that, some nice ink splatters on the back. So I'm a really big fan of this one, especially in the summer. It looks nice, bright, white, really cool different colors on that shirt. Next up, I have a challenge for you, everyone. I have no clue what this says on my Pikachu shirt that I got. I have no idea, maybe it just says Pikachu? So I'm wondering, internet, someone check for me if you could, or inform me and teach me what this says for Pikachu. I got that shirt. I don't think I've ever mentioned that shirt previously. Another shirt that I've had lying around for years that I completely forgot about. Not sure if I ever mentioned this previously or not, so I just thought I'd pull it out because I really do like it. This is an Ocarina of Time 3D shirt. This one looks like the logo, not the logo, but it has Link on there, obviously, and he's using his bow and arrow, so this looks really fantastic, but it's for Ocarina of Time 3D, not for the original one. This one was from Hot Topic a while ago. It says that it costs $20. Not sure if I got that on sale, but Hot Topic actually has a lot of really cool retro gaming shirts. And another one that I just got recently, this was actually for my anniversary, just proving how amazing my wife is. This is a Legend of Zelda shirt. This is in gray, though. So normally, this one's done in green. I have one of these in green, but not in gray. So this one, I'm going to be wearing as well. It's a little bit of a more neutral tone. And the last shirt. This shirt is absolutely perfect. I was really happy about picking this one up, and I bought this at EB Games, which is GameStop. This is perfect, I think, for my channel. This one says, Press Start. So press start, which leads me into my next video that I should be doing, should really be Question Lithium, it's been a long time. Sometimes to start those videos I said, let's press start, and that's almost like my one of my catchphrases that I've said a lot with this channel. And also to transition to this controller here that you see, my N60, my N64, my NES coffee table is a little bit worn down, it's chipped, it's a little bit old, it doesn't have storage included in it or anything. So I'm actually going to redesign a new 
coffee table. I have a little bit of white paint still on my hands because I've been doing that. So I'll be doing that over the next few weeks and I'll be updating you maybe on Twitter or Instagram with some images and I'll come up with a video when I'm finally done that. But my next video, I'd like to ask everyone, what questions do you have for me for Question Lithium? It's been a long time. You can just put a question below, make sure it actually has a question mark in it, and then I will search all the question marks and make sure that I pick one that'll be really good for the next video. And if you want to pick up the cool hat, it's 40 US dollars free worldwide shipping. That is included in the price, and these look really cool from GamerHats.com. Link in the description below the video. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to fill that like bucket. Follow me on all the social media links in the description below the video. And remember, as always, go collect them all and keep smiling while gaming. Thanks for watching, everyone.